Hey residents of Meeple Town, today we are racing down the Mississippi River in our paddle wheel boats. Oh, I'm the Mississippi Queen and And what we are doing is racing down the river, picking up passengers, and whoever finishes the race first is going to be the most famous paddle wheeler for the year, I think, is the, the flavor text to All this right. game. All right, let's get to the table and check out Mississippi Queen. Okay, here is the setup for Mississippi Queen, and this is not the entire length of the Mississippi River. It's going as, to get bigger. As you might guess. We have a stack of tiles here that's quite large, and we're going to be, as we're moving up the river, we're going to be pulling those out, but we figured we'd keep those off camera. That way we could have a, a cleaner space here. Um, I'm going to be the red boat. John is going to be the... Looks orange to me. Yellow boat, mm -hmm. and it does a little bit, doesn't it? Um, mm -hmm. So the object of the, of the game, this is a racing game. So we are going to be moving our boats up the river. We have to pick up two passengers and then be the first one to finish the race. If you finish the race and you don't have two passengers, guess what? You're not gonna win probably. For the you won't, the you won't win until That's you have right. two passengers. You might have to go pick up some more. So on your turn, what you're going to do first, at the beginning of every round, you're going to determine the starting player, and you're going to do that by the player who is farthest along. Or at the beginning of the game, we just randomly determined that I was the first player. It's always that. <laughs> and after that, we're going to move our ship. So we're going to start off with, oh, hey oh. Was, what do you do, giving yourself I, a bunch I to start the game off at a speed of three? So oh, you start off the game with, with a speed of one. This is what this he is does. The, this is the red paddle wheel. And you have six coal. That's the, the, uh, the black numbers on that paddle wheel. On the start of your turn, you're going to determine your speed. So I can move this up one or down one without the cost of using a coal. If you want to move more than that, it's going to cost you a coal for any one spot more than you move that. So... Let me show you an example. I start off with one, I move up to two speed for free. I'm gonna spend a coal, which drops me down to five, to move my speed up to a three. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna move your boat the exact amount of spaces. You have to move that many spaces. In this case, it's gotta be three. One, two, three. And after you do that, you can, actually during your movement as well, or at the beginning, you can move one, uh, one click 60 degrees again for free for the first one anytime after that it's going to cost you one coal to move more than that so in this case that's what I'm going to do I took my three movements I'm just going to move one click and that is going to be my entire turn that's all you're going to do is move unless you pick up a passenger all right now John's turn let's do it all right so now it is my turn and Dean had my <laughs> boat in not the direction I wanted to start the game you get to choose I wanted to be going this way he's trying to sabotage me from the sabotage. beginning that's right he started he wanted three to start with and had me turn the wrong way that's right okay so I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing Dean did there so I'm gonna move up to the two I'm also gonna spend a coal whoops wrong way to go down to five to go th no I'm not, then I'll crash. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to. So I'm not going to spin the coal. Let me have my coal back. Well, you could, because you can move it one and then go that way. One. Yeah, that's true. I'm just trying to help you out. That's I'm, true. I'm a good guy, I'm trying to help you out. Okay, that's what I'm going to do then. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. One, do your two, own thing. I get to turn <laughs> once for free, and then I do three. That's right. Alright, so... I, after that's the entire round that's all you're gonna do is move your ships now I will say we're playing a two-player game there is a, a recommended mode that if you're playing two players that you actually play with two ships a piece and um, we're not gonna do that because we just want to show how the game plays out and it's a lot less to keep up with when you play this you can play this way if you want to anyway um, that's true and I could have by the way if I wanted to I can push other boats that's uh, since we're sitting yeah. like this, mm -hmm. but it cost me two, so I would have had to gone spend two more coal just to push him one space, which would have gotten him actually closer. Right. So that would have not been wise for me. Correct. Yep. So I'll just I'll just tailgate him for a while. That's right. And you can't just move to an adjacent space. Um, we might see that play out. Um, at the beginning of the next round, what's going to happen is we are going to determine player order again. That's going to be the player who is farthest ahead. In this case, that is me. And so I'll stay the first place spot. If we had more boats, then obviously you would adjust those as you needed to. Um, so I'll start my next turn. I'm going to move down one to a speed of two. And then I'm going to move one. 
move uh, turn one. And he rolls the dice. And then go two. That's, oh, that's right. So whenever you cross over into the next tile, you're going to put a new tile out. This is going to determine which spot you're going to move that into. Which so, is exactly what I wanted. That's actually really helpful for John. The negative is I still got to turn multiple I'm gonna spaces this up there. Just to, to keep click. everything on there. There we uh, go. Yeah, it's still going to cost a lot of turns, though, to get me going in the right direction. Yeah, that's true. You that's started nice. in a better spot than me. That's how I roll. I wonder why. <laughs> All right, that is my turn. Now it's John's turn. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see. One, two... All right, so I'm going to spin... Uh, I'm going to turn. Let's see. Wait, should I do... Go four. Sorry, I'm just thinking. I gotta take this through. The thing is, it's a very simple game, as you can tell. Your movements. Right, I'm gonna are very just simple. go crazy here. I'm gonna decisions spend, can be tough, though. Uh, I'm gonna go up to four for free. Then I am going to yeah. I'm actually gonna leave it at four. I'm gonna turn once for free, and then I'm gonna move forward one, and then I'm gonna pay a call to turn again. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna losing some coal a little bit, but that's still only one movement. So two, three. Four and I'm gonna roll the die because I crossed over there. All right. And so, oh, straight on. Go off the go <laughs> off the table. Just take that off. That's, if we have that's to. true. And so, just to show you what this is, so we have passengers in here. Whenever a new tile comes out, we have a total of eight passengers, potential eight passengers in a two-player game. And so, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take this and move it or put it right here. So that's gonna be a passenger. And right, here's the deal: I'm gonna get the first passenger, but John is because of the way the tiles came out, just going to blow by this spot. I got so you're lucky, gonna take actually. a commanding lead right now. So. Maybe. All right. Uh, so player turn order is going to change because now John is in the lead, and he's going to take his turn. One, two, three. Uh, slow your ship down there, buddy. That's what, that's what I'm about to do. <laughs> you can go crashing into the All into right. the wall. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, and I'm rolling yet again. All right. Oh wow. He's not straight. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's just we don't, we don't have to put that on there because right we won't. We're, let's just let yeah. Normally there would be a tile coming out into John's chest. We have to leave. Uh, you can adjust the board however you want. I wanted to make sure that we still had this on camera, so we're just going to not put that. If on we there. weren't worried about the camera, we could tilt it different right. ways and do right. stuff like that. But that is one thing about the game is it does depending on the depending on the positions. It can be a table hog. More often than not, you start being able just to move some off. of these out. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do on my turn is I'm going to move my speed down to one because I mentioned that you want to pick up these passengers. You have to have a speed of one moving into the into the dock so that's what I'll do I move one space I take this passenger and this goes onto my boat right in front of me so now I only need one more passenger I've not moved it all yet moved my I'm turned. sorry turned I haven't turned it all yet so I'm just gonna turn for no cost okay so I'm going to uh, you're gonna do the player order what's your player order first, I mean so. it's pretty it's pretty obvious <laughs> who's, who's, who's ahead here all right so I'm actually gonna slow down to two and just go one two all right, I am going to move my speed up to two, and also go one, two, and then I'm going to move a click because those islands are in a terrible position. Okay, right. so I am going to go down, speed one, I'm going to turn, and I'm going to pick up a passenger. How do you do, madam? How are you? That's nice. I know. That's what I do. Uh, yeah, I used to be an Uber driver for a while. That's how I, that's how I greeted all my that's very true. Uh, Uber folks. How do you, how do you do? Oh, I bet that was a joy to ride in your car. It always is. All right, so I'm gonna bump my speed up to three now. I'm gonna move one turn, two, three. So hopefully I'll be able to catch up a little bit. So do you just want to end it? Yeah, let's since end we, it. I mean, we're, since we're gonna go over the board, that's I think right. they have a good idea of how the game's played. That's right. That's the entire game. So you're, we didn't pick up coal though. You can talk about that. Yeah. So actually, in this, I didn't, I didn't have any of those tiles out there. But there are, there are a couple variants in this game. One, I mentioned that a two-player, if you want to um, add, uh, you know, each 
character, each player has two boats, and that's an option that you can do. Uh, another variant is adding the coal depot tiles, and so just like docking at these uh, passenger places to pick up passengers, you can dock at a coal depot, and that's going to uh, move all of your, it's going to refill your coal, so that, you know, you can tell if you're not playing with that variant, you only have six coal the entire game, and so you really, really have to manage that well. With the coal depot, you still don't have very many, and you still have to manage it well, but it still gives you an option to, to move up more if you desire that. There's also these tiles that you can put in there that offer obstacles that you have to go through, um, uh, these, these wood piles or um, sandbars. Sand so bars, there's, yeah. yeah, so there's, there's different variants in there that you can play with. There's also this uh, black ship, it's called the Black Rose, that you can use, and that acts kind of as a, as a coal depot, as a way to, um, to move with that boat in order to gain more coal onto your boat. So that, that's just the gist of the game. Again, once you get two passengers and get to the very end first, you're going to be crowned the Mississippi, the Mississippi Queen. Mississippi Queen. I don't, I don't think that's how that works. You're going to be crowned the winner. I don't think you're going to be called the Mississippi Queen. Well. But anyway, let's talk about the art and components. John, why don't you start off? All right. Well, I quite enjoy these little ships here. They're pretty cool. Huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. What do you think? <laughs> no, I like them. I like that. Um, yeah, I think the cardboard's fine. It's good. It's solid. This, the art is good. I like, I really like the I art on the, the board. That's yeah, right. I mean, on this box, I mean, not the board. The art on the box is absolutely fantastic. This is nothing super exciting, but can it be really? I mean, it's you know functional. what I mean? It's functional. Like, it's exactly right. So, what do you think? It could look a lot These worse. These people are pretty I'll cool. Say that. Yeah, I, I really like the art and components in this. Yeah, it's pretty good. More They're so really the good. components, just because... Again, like you said on the board, the art's not, <clears throat> it's not bad, it's just not anything to write home about, I guess, but the box I love. Um, some little dolphins and stuff, if you get close. <clears throat> that's right, yeah, yeah. So I mean, there are some cool. nice little details there, but I, I enjoy that. Um, let's talk about gameplay? the gameplay. Yes. All right. All right, so the gameplay is very simple. You are, This is a simple game. It just is. And you need to know that going into this, I think. Like, if you like simple yeah. games, this might be something that you really enjoy. So I, I like some simple yeah. games. And I, I think now that it... There are some thinky decisions in this about your speed and how to how to manage your coal. I think is a, is the key part of this game, but it's not going to like blow you away with all these decisions that you have to make. Those are the only decisions that you're going to make: is how to yeah. manage coal, which way to turn, who to bump, that sort of thing. Um, I do. Um, I, I I enjoy this game for what it is. I mean, I, I think it's a fun game, and I like that it plays up to six. And I think with the more players that you have, the more interaction that you have, that should be bumping each other around. A that's lot right, of stuff. and that can yeah. be good. That can be bad. Some people might not like that kind of heavy interaction, but if you're playing a race game, you might expect that. I'm not sure, but yep. Anyway, th those are my kind of my gameplay thoughts overall. Yeah, so I um, I like how it's pretty simple to teach. I think it's a game that I could maybe play with my kids, and they would they would get into <laughs> it. I'm not generally the biggest race game kind of fan. Um, I'm not terribly opposed to them. They're just really not super my style. Also, as Dean mentioned negatively, I just don't feel like there's a lot of interesting decisions during the, over the course of this game. So if you're wanting a game that's just more fun, and you're racing, and you're having a good time doing that, uh, you might really like this game. For me, it really was kind of flat, just to be real. I just, I I don't know, just wasn't that interesting to choose whether to go up one or to turn one or, or whatever. And there's also a big, uh, I think there's a big luck factor in the game. Uh, maybe not huge, but a, I don't know, a decent amount. I mean, like, I got super lucky with the tiles with, with, with this dice roll and the way the tiles, because if the tile would have came out this way, I would have been hosed. Sure. Because then I would have been down here and I would have had to, like, Try to figure out a way to. I mean, what would, what would have been hosed, but it would have been a lot harder, and Dean would have been doing a whole lot better. So off the bat, off yeah. the bat. So it was like, I just you know I got lucky, so I have a decent lead here. But yeah. it could have absolutely been the other way around, and it's just a dice roll. So I'm I'm not a big luck in games kind of guy. So that's kind of <laughs> that's a little bit of a downer for me as well. And if you're not, then you might not like that either. Yeah, the, the positive with that is there are a lot of tiles, and so you over know, the, the course the, of the idea game. is that more than likely that's going that's going to be mitigated that it's going to be kind of winding around and and that you know and it, you have to make decisions based on like that's right maybe i should get in the middle just in case it goes this way oh that's just right. in case it goes <laughs> that way so that's that's a little bit interesting yeah it's uh, very it's a very tactical game and, and and again you need to know going into this is this a style of game if you don't like racing racing games this kind of gets into our final thoughts yeah let's do that if you don't like racing games you're probably not going to like this like this game if you don't like light games you might not like this one if you don't like i 
Pickup and deliver is kind of minimal because you are picking up, but it's not like... You're not delivering it, really, except for the very end. It's just that you have to stop two spaces along the way. And, and you know, in a two-player game, you've got eight potential places that you can stop, and you can't get more than two passengers, so it's not like I can just go and collect all the passengers and keep John from getting them. I can only hold two, and John can only hold two, so that leaves four extra spots that if you want to pass... If we wanted to pass this one up, it's not that big of a deal. And so, but again, all this is you have to know what you're getting into. Now, if you listen to our podcast or, or even for our, our video, the, the top 10 uh, anticipated games of 2000, no, 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 top 10 anticipated games of Essen, Essen 2019, uh, this was on my top five because I really wanted to try, I want to try all of the Spiel des Jahres winners. This was one from 1997. And I didn't have expectations that this was going to be like my favorite game of all time, but I did have expectations that I would like this game and that it would be a pretty good game, and that and that met those expectations for me. So, um, I, but I knew what I was looking for, right? I, I'm I'm okay with the lighter game and and this kind of fair, I guess. So for me, this game gets a seven. It's a good game. It's not one that I'm wow. going to want to play all the time, but it's still a fun game. And I think for a racing game, this is going to be one of my go-tos, I think, there for lighter go. racing games. Yep. That's not bad. No. Not bad at all. So um, this game did nothing for me. I mean, I, I don't mean to <laughs> sure. be like, and it's not, I'm not, I'm not like belittling it because it may absolutely be your style. Mm-hmm. Like Dean likes yeah. it. And I, it's just, it's one of those games where, like, I'm not the hugest light game fan, but there are other games that I would much rather play that just are a little bit more interesting to me than whether I turn a boat and how many spaces I go and when I stop and stuff. Is, you know, it's just, it's just, it's okay. It's not an awful game by any stretch. It's just for me personally, it's not my style. Um, I didn't expect it. I, I, I made a joke on the podcast whenever Dean and Dean put it on his top 10. I was like, dude, seriously. And, and, and that's the way I feel about it personally. So if you follow me uh, and you generally like the kind of games I like, then you might, I, I, I didn't like it really. It's a five out of 10 for me. It's, it's okay. Um, I think that means it was slightly boring. I don't, I don't mean this to be really negative. It's just for me personally, sure. this is not my style. Um, but I, I get why Dean likes it. And I'm sure yeah. there are people, I mean, it won the Spiel des Jahres, so I'm sure there's plenty of people that really like this game. Sure. Yeah, and it, it is, it's a dated game, right? I mean, it won that's what in it 97. Felt, that's what it feels like to me. Sure, sure. And, it, and you, it, I, don't, I don't, I would not disagree with that at all. And I will say, now, if you're watching our video today and you don't keep up with our podcast or watch a lot of our videos, uh, one thing you need to know is I tend to like lighter games than what John does. He likes the heavier games between the two of us, and so... If if a game if you like lighter games this might be one that you quite enjoy oh, absolutely but not every game is for everybody sure. um, so anyway that is a seven from me it is a five from John that is Mississippi Queen why don't you tell people how they can get in touch with us if you are enjoying our videos we would love for you to subscribe by clicking that subscribe button and bell the bell for notifications if you want to be notified when we come out with new videos we have a podcast we've referenced a couple times Spotify Google Play iTunes all that kind of stuff we have. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, you can follow us on those. At Meebletown Games, and we're Board Game Geek Guild 3407. Thanks for coming down to Meebletown. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Meebletown Games, and connect with us on the Meebletown Guild, Guild number 3407, at BoardGameGeek.com, and also subscribe to our podcast and YouTube channel. And until next time, thanks for coming down to Meebletown.